Today we're going to be messing around with uh, Buggy. He is a blue 5 health leader with the ability to rest a 5 dawn, trash any card, and play any uh, cross guild character from hand. So what you want to use this ability for is to uh, basically cheat out any of these uh, 7 costs here, particularly the Crocodile and or the Promo Buggy, so that it can cheat out even more cross guild stuff. So what the ideal targets for Croc is going to be the Daz Boneses, even the Mihawk 2, or any of the five uh, costs uh, from uh, hand. Same thing with Buggy, though your targets are likely going to be, since it's a six cost, you can also cheat out the Mihawk 2. And uh, if you're lucky enough and you got five, uh, five or four or five costs on board, you can put Buggy out on the field and uh, for like five Dawn, it does have an innate Red Rock ability. So uh, that would just mean that you're way ahead and uh, you got a very powerful 10-12. It also has funny interactions with uh, Blackbeard where uh, if they get Black Hold, you can just play this outright and the ability won't uh, put it back in the bottom of the deck. So you can have like a turn 3, 10-12 uh, body out and uh, that's hilarious. Though with that saying... Since um, this ability does uh, cost you a card, we are running a whole bunch of card draw engines. So you got Bones, you got Mihawk, and then you got Peel Off for your turn two plays. But uh, yeah, that's uh, it for me. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment on what deck you want to see in the next video. Okay, Teach could be a problem. Five. It'd be a best interest to start black holing black holing now. They're not gonna black hole me. That might be a mistake. Uh, let's go five, and then we'll trash one of the searchers for buggy and Mihawk, and then we'll trash. Probably the other searcher. But we'll see. They're gonna try to get rid of the buggy here. So, okay, so they're gonna get rid of uh, the Mihawk, it seems. There it goes. Okay, there's Black Hole. Oh, never mind. They're not doing it for some particular reason. So we'll just go five and hard play. We can go slow. Counter out. Well, they're gonna have a problem, so you black hold me. But wait. I, I have a theory, and this will be funny. If my if I get black hold, does that mean that um, this just stays on board? Okay, this is worth checking out. So I'm thinking we'll go, we'll casually swing five. And we'll casually swing seven. And then we'll play Mihawk. Crashing one of the Bonclays for a buggy, and it stays on board. <laughs> I, you fool. I use my own power against you. And Buggy freezes the Burgess. You need to get rid of the buggy. Okay, so can't attack, so they still have a big blocker. But they haven't black holed me, have they? Which means I could swap out the Mihawk and then bottom deck to teach. Oh man. Got Kata here. Let's go first. Oh, that's uh, cross guild.
Okay, so we're at three. So all we can do here is go eight. No trigger. All right, what do they have in store for us? Okay, if that's going to be the case, then we'll take that as well. And Richie. Um, so I'm thinking we can go buggy here or we can go with more pressure. So right now we'll just go five first. And then I think Crocodile's the power play. Uh, buggy can come in later. Okay, so we'll get Crocodile. Thrashing. One Mihawk. Playing the Croc. And then playing Bones. So we got the Crocodile side of things. Take this as well. Okay, so Cat Curry with the blocker action. All right, so now we can get Buggy involved. So we can actually do this again where we trash one, but we can also hard play. We'll go five uh, first. And let's see what they do. If they leave this vulnerable, then we'll take. Okay, so it looks like they got Burley. So I'm thinking we actually do execute with it, but for the time being, we'll go eight starting off. Okay, so that's three cards I have to throw away. And then we'll go another. All right, so now we'll trash, trash. Starting with the Mihawk again, playing Buggy into Mihawk, and then trashing the four cost Mihawk. All right, so if we can protect our stuff, then uh, we have some stuff on the line here. All right, so we're at 10 now. We can actually start just normal swinging here. Uh, we can't attack with this buggy, but what we can do is set some things up. So we'll go seven first. And we'll go eight next. And then we'll uh, start to go another eight. Okay, so they take all of that. Trash. Play buggy. I'm decking cat. And we'll pass it there. And now buggy is uh, a permanent 10 12. Crash it. Block. And so that we got it, even though we have no life left. <laughs> we'll just go seven here. And we'll swing another seven. They got those zero costs for days. And then we'll just finish it off with a 12. Uh, cookie cutter, uh, perfect buggy, uh, finishing things off with uh, extra credit. Though it did help that we got Crocodile in the opening hand to set it all up. Uh, more Katas. Let's go first again. All in this. Okay, so now we got somewhere. Uh, so we get Gaudino. Uh, we'll get some more draw power or 2k. 
I think it's draw power. You can also get it from Croc in next turn. So go five here. Then we'll go three, five. So they'll do their uh, supreme uh, stuff. Okay, so we get another 2k counter. They'll search Lin Lin, so Brick. And then Asanji, that's interesting. So we're at five. Let's uh, just normal swing. And then we'll crash Mihawk into Croc into Bones. Crashing other Mihawk and then passing. I'll take this life as well. We could uh, go easy on that. And then we'll go minus this too. Let's uh, go two here. Interesting. Five to two. Sure. Just uh, take more life then. Interesting. They they wanted to save the little things, so we'll just hard play Mihawk. Crashing. One K. I don't know if we're going to need Croc at this point. Get 2k counter out of that. Sure. Let's keep drawing. Okay. Let's seven this first. Then we'll six K. And then we'll seven six. So let's see if Big Mom is going to do something, but we're pretty much safe and secure here. All right, let's go seven again. Six. Seven once more. And then everything goes into face. Soul Pocus is surprising, though. Luffy action. Okay, we're going odd, so... Keep. Nami's gonna find... Where, what's she gonna find? Oh, that's really good. Uh, we'll just pass it since we can't do anything. Noro. Start by swinging six. They're going to get their uh, Dawn active, which is uh, not very cool. Then we'll peel off. Okay, so that's more Zoro Joro action. They'll get some more. We'll counter with Mihawk. If they have to add some Dawn to uh, Luffy, that's perfectly fine. There's Diamond Jozu here. We'll draw. We can actually uh, just go six again. Maybe get them, uh, maybe we can clean the life off. Not this time, so we're just going to trash uh, Mihawk into Buggy into 
Mihawk. Let's trash. I think we can trash. That's our only target. And it draws us stuff. We'll get one of the Josies out. So now the Bucky, the Zorojoros can't attack anymore, but they can get their Dawn up to nine. Okay, so that they got the Banished Zoro. We'll just block with uh, Mihawk. And then we can start countering. And then we, I guess we can hard play Jozu. We can go Gaudino into Jozu and then bounce the Zoro back to hand. So we can go Gaudino. Get ourselves the 10 cost buggy for future plays. And then uh, at this point, we can just go next to him. And then uh, I feel safe enough to go seven. Okay, so the carrot with a counter. And then we're going to go Jozu, bounce the Gaudino, bounce the Zoro. And then we should be at 10 next turn, so we can hard play a five and then bottom deck whatever is coming at us. But I'm going to try to defend this Mihawk as uh, best as I can. So that won't work. All right, so Zoro is back on the news. Unfortunately, we can't swing, swing with Buggy, but what we can do is uh, go sevens all around. That is a knowing ass card. And then we'll go seven again. And the good thing Buggy's generic, it doesn't need to be all cross-skilled, so we'll go Bones, Trash Peel-Off, Activate, Trashing another Peel-Off, playing Buggy, bottom decking the Zoro, and we have a big-ass Buggy that's uh, not going to go away. So now they're in trouble. We got nothing but two kick counters, that's crazy. Okay, so big uh, Captain Kid. We'll take this and then we'll block this. We'll keep this sub blocker for sure. Go seven on seven. We'll go another seven on seven. Another seven. Then we'll go 12. And then everything else into Mihawk to finish the game. So we need double 2k to get out of this. Okay. Cool. I forgot. It's not just red beams, it's giant now. But yeah, considering all the 2k's they have, it's going to be hard to uh, get that RNG just right. Okay, so we got a blast from the past with the Ancient Kaido. Still a very dangerous threat, but uh, let's see what we can do about it. So they're going to go first. Hopefully they don't have the whatchamacallit. We'll keep this for now. Yeah. Do it. It's, we have cro it's Crocodile. We have to. And we have the Bones. Uh, nothing that we can do on this turn. I think I take this one. Now we can go Mihawk, or we can go something else. But right now, this is going to be a threat later on. So I'm thinking, normally I would drop heal off here, and later on we can use it. But we can just uh, get uh, some bodies on board. So we'll go five. And then we'll play Mihawk. The good news is, is that they don't have any, uh, what you would call it. I have lost my train of thought, but this could be a very quick game if, uh, we don't get our stuff together. So we're up to six. Uh, we can go into Croc, into, uh, Bones. Pretty easily. So, uh, let's go five here. 
We'll go five easily. And then uh, we can actually search. Do they have to be five costs too? No, they don't. So we can search. Get another 2k counter. That's perfectly fine. And then uh, let's see. Put five. And we don't play Richie, so that's okay. We'll go five again. It's too bad Bantham doesn't uh, trash itself with uh, others. But we'll trash. Play Croc into Bones. Let's trash the other peel off. And then we'll pass. Okay, so here's some more Bond Clay action. I'll take them all. This may not be so advisable. They're not activating it. Strange. All right, so we're at eight now. Let's uh, get rid of the bond. And then I don't think the Black Maria matters. They're going to do their little thing, and uh, there's that. But I think what we need to do is... We'll definitely bounce the bond clay back to hand so they have less things to attack with. We're at eight dawn, so we're going to need six of those. So I'm thinking we could go six, bounce the buggy. So we'll go five first. We'll just keep uh, swinging the micro swings. Another five here. And then I think we'll go double seven. Then the second seven. Okay, so they're gonna search. All right, then we're gonna go Jozu, bounce to Galdino, bounce to Betham, and then I guess we'll search again. But what will we be searching for? Hopefully another 2K. And yeah, that's fine too. All right, so uh, they can actually clean up the board here. But we're gonna need to find a blocker. Okay, so they're gonna play control, kill two things. That's fine. I think we got them. They have five cards, potentially. They have nothing to uh, swing with. Yep, there's Buggy. Could have been useful here, but oh well. So I think we're just going to go nine. Then we'll swing six. And everything into the buggy. Okay, we survived. We won the prize. The prize? Uh, more survival? <laughs> Okay, Perona's going to have a harder time here. Oh, so keep this. Take it. Torso is uh, a card. Let's go five. I think aggression is a bit better in this particular instance. Crash, one buggy, play croc, bones, we'll trash, we might need this, so we'll trash, I use, and then we can hard play buggy next turn, so some blocker support, everything's a blocker, I know Perona is still going strong with all the stuff, they're setting up for Gekomoria, Take this. We're at seven now. Let's uh, go five, and if they decide to block, we could start swinging at the bodies. Go six, and then we'll go seven. I'm fine with that. We'll just hard play buggy into Mihawk. There's our 10 drop. Let's drop, for example. Uh, 1k. Moria can't 
Doom. Oh, they could minus one of the bones. There it is. But that's it. They can't swing with Ryuma or Boris. And they can't swing with Kuzan either. Alright, so we're at 9 Dawn. Hmm. We can play slow here. Or not. We'll go 7. Then we'll put the pressure on them. And then we'll swing 7 again. Then we'll go hard play Croc into Bones. Crashing Peel Off. So these can't attack now, thanks to the buggy. So they're going to have to find a way to get rid of it. I can afford to lose one uh, character here. Probably not two. But no, we could, we could even afford to lose two. We can just hard play a five and then play buggy to... Uh, bottom deck a big a threat so there's moria so they're gonna minus we can't swing with ryuma or kuzan until the buggy's down so actually i don't mind losing this right, so we're at 10. i think at this point we can just hard play buggy we don't need to uh risk anything and we'll go another seven and then we'll hard play uh, and drop and so none of their force can attack because this is a absolute broken ass card this is probably the most broken four drop card in ex or broken four drop card, broken promo card in existence so they have to get rid of this buggy somehow and then they're f they can attack with everything i have plenty of counter to uh see that we're safe we'll uh just go for the kid i'll have to block with borsa Yep. At this point, we just go 10. And then everything goes into life. There we go. <laughs> Stupid shoe looking bastard. Yeah, if any cards get banned, it'll probably be that buggy. Um, we'll keep it. Don't want to get greedy. Oh, there's our play. That's one play that we can use later. I think there there should block now with the Borsalina at this point. You know what I'm about to do. Okay, not yet. Let's trash one. Play Mihawk into regular ass bones. They just need a minus to uh, try to get rid of the bones. So maybe a, a Tsuru and uh, whatchamacallit. Ryuma can uh, take out the seven cost. But uh, let's see if we can keep going. So it doesn't look like they're going to get be able to get rid of it this turn. They get counter and Belmare is uh, pretty dangerous. But let's see. We'll take this life as well. I don't think we need to do anything too uh, outlandish here. All we need to do is play one of the Mihawks. And then everything else. Let's see if we can get rid of the Rosinante. Oh, they didn't. That's strange. Wow. Brutal. I don't think we need all the Mihawks in the world. You can actually cross guild into Mihawk some more. All right, so Mori is gonna do Suru into Ryuma, I think. Get rid of Bones. Or they can actually get rid of Mihawk that way too. No, wait, no, they can't because it's not, they have to rest it. 
So they would have to go after bones. Still, same outcome. So minus two here and then pop. Just block with them. We'll draw. Rough. We'll go five here. And then we'll try to uh, take out the Ryuma. Wow. Um, if that's the case, I might actually just use a uh, buggy here and get rid of uh, Moria. X Drake. Is that the Navy X Drake? I think I need to start defending my stuff. And I'll take this life. That is helpful. Carry out this as well. And for some reason, I'm not finding the seven cost uh, it guy, so we'll find it the hard way. There it is. Trashing one. And then let's uh, get rid of the small stuff. I, I don't want to take any chances at this junction. Okay, so they just let it happen. And then uh, we'll go eight. Now we can uh, play buggy for not much problems. So they'll be able to lean in. But we have we can just hard play buggy and relax. We'll just block. Uh, so we'll just hard play buggy. Put the hardcore pressure on. Oh, that's the OP one. Okay. That's ruthless. 